So today I'm talking to you about adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And the most important thing I need to know is to add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators, you must make the denominators the same. So let's start with a fairly simple example. We'll take 3 fourths and we're going to subtract 1 eighth. So the first thing I do is I say to myself, can I make the smaller denominator 4 into the larger denominator 8 by multiplying? In this case, the answer is yes. I can multiply 4 times 2 to get 8. So I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 2. So I have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. I know that 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So I'm just changing it to an equivalent fraction of 6 eighths. I'm going to take 6 eighths. I'm going to move over my subtract 1 eighth. 6 eighths minus 1 eighth is 5 eighths. That fraction is already in lowest terms. I do not need to reduce or simplify. That's my answer. Next example is a little more difficult. It's 1 fourth minus 1 seventh. When I look at those two, I can't make 4 into 7 by multiplying. So instead, I'm going to take the 7 denominator of 7 from the bottom fraction and multiply it by the top fraction. I'm going to take the denominator of 4 from the top fraction and multiply it by the bottom. So again, I have my 7 sevenths. I'm going to multiply and get 7 28ths. And of course, I know that the 7 sevenths and the 4 fourths are both equal to 1, so that we're keeping the value of the fraction the same. We're just getting an equivalent fraction. Now I get 4 28ths, so I have 7 28ths minus 4 28ths. I get 3 28ths which again is lowest terms I don't need to simplify. Now in this case, I'm going to show you two ways to do this problem. 7 eighths minus 1 sixth. Again, I'm going to say to myself, can I make the 6 into the 8 by multiplying? In this case, I cannot, just like the previous problem. So I'm going to do it just like I did the previous problem. I'll take that 6, make a 6 sixth on the top, and multiply it times of top fraction. I'll take the top fraction denominator of 8 and multiply it on the bottom. So when I do my multiplication, I end up with 42 48 on the top and 8 48 on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 42 48 minus 8 48 and I'm going to end up with 34 48 on the bottom as my answer. And in this case, that has to be reduced. They're both even numbers. I know I can always reduce two even numbers by two, so I'm going to go ahead and divide it by two over two. Again, I'm making an equivalent fraction here because I'm dividing it by what is really one. 34 divided by two is 17. 48 divided by two is 24. 17 24 is my answer. Now I'm going to show you a second way to do this problem. So I'm going to write my problem again over here on the right side. I have 7 eighths minus 1 sixth again. But in this case, instead of just taking the two numbers, the denominators and multiplying them by each other, I'm going to look at the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 8 and try to find a lower common multiple. So I list my multiples of 6 on the bottom here. And I'm just going to go part of the way. And I'm going to list now some multiples of 8. Now I go in and get 8, 16, 24. And I'll go ahead and put 32. But I already have a matching set of numbers. I can see on my two lists that 24 is a common multiple in both lists. So I know I can change both 8 and 6 into 24. That's smaller than 48, so it's really a better choice for me. So I'm going to multiply the 7 eighths times 3 thirds. And I'm going to get an equivalent, and I'm going to multiply the bottom fraction. Had a little uh, technical difficulty here with my trying to move my uh, fraction up again. Had to do a little erasing. I'm going to multiply it by 4 fourths 
And when I do that, I'm going to end up with 21 24ths on the top and 4 24ths on the bottom. I'm going to subtract those. I get 17 24ths, which is my answer. Same as the other answer, except this time I don't have to simplify because I picked a lower common multiple.